Welcome to our lecture online. Our next problem deals with Newton's laws and deals with friction and forces. But the way they wrote the answers makes it difficult to look at the answers and try to figure out what the correct answer is without actually writing, working out the problem. So let's go ahead and work out the problem and then try to match it up with what seems to be the correct answer. The problem reads as follows. A block of mass M slides along a floor while a force of magnitude F is applied to it at an angle theta as shown in the figure. The coefficient of kinetic friction is mu sub k, then the block's acceleration A is given by, and so they did give us a figure, here it is, and here are the four possible answers. So the way to do a problem like this is to first draw all the vectors and draw essentially a free body diagram. So we do have the mg working in this direction. The force can be divided into its two components, the vertical and the horizontal component. So this is f times the cosine of theta, and this here is f times the sine of theta. Notice that it works in the opposite direction as mg, which essentially makes the object weigh less relative to the floor. And so the opposing force, the normal force, the normal force will be equal to mg minus the vertical component of the force f sine theta. And then we have the friction force acting in the opposite direction. Force friction is equal to the normal force times mu. And that is what we need in order to solve the problem. Because then we set up the problem as follows. We know that f equals ma, which means that a equals f divided by m. Now, let's write it as the net force, because what we have to do here is take all the forces that are aiding in the acceleration as positive, and all the forces that are opposing the acceleration as negative. Now, this force here is aiding the acceleration, and this force here is opposing the acceleration. And notice that if we replace n by this, we can say that the friction force is therefore equal to mg minus f sine theta times mu sub k. So when we write that into our equation here, we can say that the acceleration is equal to all the forces aiding the acceleration, which is f times the cosine of theta, minus all the forces opposing the acceleration, which is the friction force, which is mg minus f sine theta times mu sub k. And of course, we have to divide all that then by m. Now when I go and take a look at the answers here, notice what we could have done is they could have kept the m in here and divide by m, so everything is divided by m, and then we need an m in the numerator, which results in this term mg mu sub k, mg mu sub k right here. But look at the signs. So we have an f cosine theta, that means that these three are still possible, but this one is not because that's a negative f over m cosine theta. And then we have a minus mg mu sub k over m, a minus mg mu sub k, a minus mg, that's a plus mg mu sub k, so it cannot be this one. And then finally, at the end, we have a minus times a minus times f sine of k to mu sub k. So a minus times a minus and a minus times a plus. So it cannot be this one. So then essentially, it has to be that one. So it was just simply, Working out the problem, starting with f equals ma, solving for a, then the net force is the force aiding the acceleration minus the force opposing the acceleration, which is the normal force times mu, and divide everything by m, and then picking out the terms one by one to make sure they have the correct sign. And that is the best way to do this problem.